This is a video showing how to calibrate the wireless drop counter with SparkView 4.0 and beyond. First, I'll pair or attach my wireless drop counter to the device that I'm running SparkView on. I'll click on Sensor Data, and then you can see that I have the fluid volume selected in order to select the correct template. Most times that the drop counter is going to be used, it will be for a titration. So in this case, I'm going to select Titration Drop Counter from the right-hand side. Once I've done that, I'm going to have a display of pH versus fluid volume. In order to do the calibration, I'm going to select the live data display for fluid volume from the lower left-hand side. When I click on that, I'm going to click on Calibrate Measurement. This is going to do a one-point calibration, and everything will be preset on this screen, so I can click on Continue. Once I've done that, since the first point is already set, I do not need to touch those values. I need to make sure that either my drop dispenser or a burette is above the drop counting port on the drop counter. I need to have the solution that I will be dispensing through my experiment within the drop dispenser or burette to make sure that the drops that are being calibrated are going to be equivalent to the ones that will be used in the experiment. So then I will uh, begin to dispense the drops through the drop counter. Please make sure that there's enough time between the drops that they're individual drops rather than a continuous stream. As you dispense the drops through the drop counter, it will start to accrue the values and you'll be able to count those drops that are changing the display. While you do that, the drop light on the top of the drop counter will flash each time a droplet goes through the counter. Once I am done dispensing the approximately 10 milliliters of solution through my drop counter, I'll read the actual dispensed amount from my burette or my drop dispenser, and I'll put that value into the standard value. This is only a demonstration, so it will certainly take more than 18 drops to dispense 10.1 milliliters. Once I have set my calibration here, I'll click on Set Calibration and then go down to OK. So now, when I start my data recording, it will increment the fluid volume according to the calibration 